Good morning, Sodor. Wow, 1946. It really feels like we can just get on with our lives now instead of being interrupted by another war. I just can't wait to see Emily and wish her a happy new year. Are you sure that's all you want to do with her? Oh, shut up, James. Shush now, Sir Topham's arriving. Happy New Year, engines. Now, today is a special one indeed. Gordon, you are to collect a special coach from Knapford and take a VIP to Kirk Ronan. There's a special party happening there to celebrate the New Year. I'll be joining it, of course, later. James will take your express in the meantime. Neil, you'll be taking some stone trucks to the harbour to Crosby. The rest of you, normal services for today. I'll be seeing all of you around, as it were. It's so weird seeing that man in a good mood. He's usually up to his eyes in paperwork or state over some engine or another. Yeah, you and him are similar in that way, Rose. Oi! Only joking. I've got a morning train to pull. See you all later. Bye! Bye! See you soon, Thomas. See you soon. It feels great to not have to worry about going out to war anymore. I remember going to the front lines once, back in the Great War. And even then, I was a bit past it. What happened? Did your platoon make it? All but one. He was a good engine, a hard worker. Oh, I'm sorry. I bet he'd be proud of you. Hopefully. Anyway, I'd better be going. Take these passengers to Hellsbridge. Gordon will be cross if I don't get there on time. Actually, Gordon's taking a special train today. James will be waiting for you. A not so pleasant change. Great. It's about time, Toby. Oh, calm down. I'm only three minutes late. That's less than Percy on a good day. But you aren't, Percy. You are one of the most reliable engines on the railway, and I, for one, would like it to stay that way. Thank you, I, I think. I, ca I can't tell if that was a compliment or an insult. Either way, I have to leave, so goodbye. He's a strange one, our James. Oh, Gordon! Never mind you. I'll pop a safety valve if you keep going that fast. Sorry. Are you all right, old boy? Yes. I just can't believe Percy cutting me off at the points like that. Now I have to go all the way around. Maybe not. Park your trucks over in the yard. There's a turntable over there. We can push the trucks to the harbour. Better that than reversing all the way there, I guess. What are you two doing here? Minding our own business, Gordon. I know it's something difficult to understand, but... Well, can't you mind it somewhere else? I've got important passengers aboard. Trust us! If we can meet anywhere where you weren't, we would. But alas, we couldn't, so here we are, keeping you company. Didn't you say the station has a boring view? Ha ha. 
Come on, Gordon, we need to leave now. It's good, I'm afraid, but it's only some pipes. It's not the dirtiest job in the world, eh? Oh, I guess. What about the coach? Oh, I could do with that. Just leave it on a different line and go. Oh, thank you, Henry. Anything to get you out of here quicker. <laughs> Do you think James is having fun with the Express? Oh, I reckon so. Hey James, enjoying the Express? Yes, I've never been allowed to go so fast. I whooshed through the tunnel back there, and the adrenaline was just amazing. Apparently, Gordon's stuck pulling some pipes up to Crosby, so maybe you'll get to pull the evening train. Oh, I would love that. See you later. Bye! Oh, oh my pistons and axles ache! I'll be so glad when today is finished. Do you want a hand? No, I'll have Sir Topham sending me to some vintage railway before long. That's not something I'll be enjoying. We'll all end up there soon. Look, I'll drop these off and I'll join you in there for tonight. Us oldies need to have a night away from the young ones every once in a while. <laughs> Speak for yourself, oldie. What are you doing just sitting around? Driver's doing Sudoku or something. We're really waiting for you. I like our chats on the way back to the sheds. <laughs> so do I. Come on then, slow coach. The sheds beside Tithmus Station are empty. Where's Gordon? Probably flaunting around with that special VIP again. No, that coach was still there when I passed by earlier. That VIP went home by limousine, not by train. Maybe he slithered into a ditch or lost his dome again. Ah, there you are. We were becoming concerned. Are you alright? What's happened? It's... it's... it's Neil. What about him? He... he's... um... he's... he's dead. No! Y you can't be serious! Do I look like I'm joking, Edward? What happened? My flatbeds of pipes had derailed outside Henry's tunnel. Neil had to go around and over the hill. And, well, he, he was an old engine. But he didn't deserve that! Nobody's saying he did. Edward, you need to breathe. Just take a breath. <laughs> 